1.2 million Americans suffer from lumbar spinal stenosis. It's a condition that can cause debilitating pain. Spinal fusion surgery can help, but sometimes it leaves patients with limited mobility. Well, now there's a new treatment on the horizon. It's a joint replacement for the spine. Um. Eileen Eckert is a mom, grandma, and now great grandma. I love it. I'm on the go. But keeping up with the little ones was tough when Eileen developed spinal stenosis, a condition that causes narrowing of the spinal canal and lots of pain. It was a stabbing pain and it just got more and more painful. Eileen's doctor told her about a brand new procedure and she was one of the first patients in the country to have it. If it's going to take the pain away, let's do it. As part of a clinical trial, surgeon Neil Anand is performing a joint replacement for the spine. He first removes parts of the facet joints. In the back, there are two joints on either side. They're called facet joints that actually move. He then implants artificial facet joints that move and function just like healthy joints. With traditional spinal fusion, patients have limited mobility and risk further spine degeneration. With the new joint replacement, the goal is for patients to be able to move freely and not compromise their spine. Eileen noticed immediate relief. She certainly is somebody who's benefited from this. Now she can lift her great grandson without pain holding her back. <laughs> Nearly 30 centers across the country are participating in a clinical trial to test the facet joint replacement surgery. To date, more than 300 patients have been enrolled and treated in this clinical trial.